Hey guys, good morning. This is Dan with Ledger Support. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to set up your Nano X with the mobile Ledger Live app. And then I'll show you how to stake Cardano with your Nano X and the Euro wallet on mobile. This is going to be fun. Let's go. So the first thing I want to do is download the Ledger Live mobile app onto my phone. I'm going to go into the App Store, select Ledger Live, and download the app. Okay, so now the app has finished downloading onto my phone. I'm going to open it. It's asking me if it can access Bluetooth. I'm going to select OK because I'll need to connect my Nano X to the mobile app via Bluetooth later to install a Cardano account. And here's the home page. It looks pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and tap Get Started. Do you own a ledger? Yes, I do. It's your choice. You can choose to set up your ledger or take a look around the app first. I'm going to select set up my ledger and tap continue. Select your device and select Nano X. Here is giving me an option. First time using a Nano, already have a recovery phrase. My ledger Nano X has already been set up. I have a recovery phrase, so I'm going to select connect your Nano here. Okay, here it's telling me to check the box contents. Basically wants to make sure that I'm using a recovery phrase that was generated by the device itself, which is the case for me. So I'm going to go ahead and tap continue. It's telling me to pair my Nano. So there's a few things to keep in mind here. Before I start pairing my Nano, I wanna make sure Bluetooth is enabled on the device itself. So to do this, I'm going to grab my Nano hold both buttons to go into the control center. Then I'm going to use the right button until I can select Bluetooth, see here? And it should say enabled. If it doesn't say enabled, you can use both buttons to move from disabled to enabled, okay. Another useful piece of information you can find in the control center is your nano name. So you just need to go under device name and you'll find your nano name. So mine is nano x 9 six b This will be useful later when we pair the device with the mobile app. Now, very important step. Once you're done doing this, close the control center and go back to the dashboard. Okay, this is important. Before you start pairing in nano, there is a few tips to keep in mind as well. First of all, make sure that Bluetooth is enabled on your phone. The second thing to watch out for is to make sure that your device hasn't been already logged into the Bluetooth devices on your phone. In general, you wanna start pairing fresh. So in my case here, you can see that there was a previous attempt to pair my Nano that was unsuccessful, but the phone still remembered the device. So in this case, what I wanna do is tap the little eye icon here and forget the device. This is super important because otherwise you might confuse the app and it will prevent your phone to connect to your device. I'm back in Ledger Live, and now I'm going to start pairing my Nano. So let's tap, let's pair, and pair with Bluetooth. It looks like it's recognized my device. I'm going to select the device. And here I'm getting a prompt on my device. So I'm going to confirm the pairing by pressing both buttons at the same time. And I wanna select pair on my phone itself. Now it's prompting me for a authentication check, which is the same as the genuine check you do on the desktop app. So I wanna use both buttons here to allow the ledger manager that will do the check. So now I wanna start creating my Cardano account. I'm going to tap continue. Add asset with your ledger and I'm going to type Cardano in the search bar. Okay, Cardano. Now what the app is doing is um, prompting my device to install the Cardano app on the device. So let's wait until it finishes the flow. The app has finished downloading onto my device I'm going to use both buttons to open it. 
Now it says card now is ready. Now Ledger Lab is synchronizing with my device to look for new accounts or existing accounts. In my case, I already have a Cardano account, so we should show this account here. You can see it here on the screen. I want to import this account, so I'm going to click continue here. I'm going to click see your assets. And you can see here, this is my Cardano account. Now, I already had some ADA into my account, but if your account is empty, you can also purchase some ADA by just tapping the buy button selecting Cardano, and then going through the steps to buy via MoonPay or a different provider. In my case, I already have ADA, so I'm just going to show you how to stake that balance. Unfortunately, Ledger Live doesn't support Cardano staking yet, so you still have to use a third-party wallet to do this. In my case, I'm going to use Yoroi to stake my balance. So I want to go back into the App Store here and look for a Mergo Yoroi Cardano wallet. That's the blue one here. And I'm going to download and install the wallet onto my device. It's finished downloading, so I'm going to open the app. Now, the app is asking me if it can access Bluetooth. I'm going to see yes. Select English and choose language. I'm going to accept the terms of agreement. So now it's asking me to add a wallet. I'm just going to go for the top option here. I don't want to use a Byron uh, type wallet because those are deprecated. I'm just going to type add wallet. And here I'm going to select connect to Ledger Nano. Quick tip before you start connecting via Bluetooth, make sure that you close Ledger Live as well because those two apps might conflict and prevent your device to connect to your rug. Just swipe up to close the app and then go back into your row. Right, now the app is scanning my device for existing accounts. This process can take a while, so just be patient. Eventually the app will find your account. It looks like Yoroi was able to find my device. I'm going to tap the device name here. And now it's prompting me to select a name for the account. So I'm just going to go with the generic My Ledger Wallet and I'm going to type save. Excellent, here's my Ledger Cardano account. I'm going to tap on it to load the wallet. Boom, here's my Ledger Cardano account. Now, I'm going to show you how to stake your ADA balance. So you need to go to the dashboard, go to Staking Center. Now, it's prompting me with a list of validators I'm going to go with this one. This is not investment advice at all. It's just because that's the one that's available in the list. I'm going to type delegate, the amount I want to delegate. Yep, I'm happy with that. And now I'm going to tap delegate. My ledger device is asking me to confirm or sign the staking transaction. So this is what I'm going to do. Grab your ledger device and press both buttons simultaneously to confirm new ordinary transaction. Here's the fees, I'm happy with it. Delegate, also happy with it. Make sure you go through both screens until it says two out of two here, and then use both buttons to confirm. Staking key, okay. Confirm delegation, okay. Confirm transaction, okay. Okay, great. So my transaction was signed successfully. You can see it at the top here, intro wallet, and it has the date of today. Um, it's not yet completely confirmed on the network, right? You can tell because it's saying low under the fee amounts. Once it's completely confirmed, it should say success. So it takes about 15 to 30 confirmations for the transaction to become final on the Cardano network. If you wanna track that, you can tap on the transaction and you'll see the number of confirmations here at the bottom. And that's it. You can see now the transaction says success. My staking has been confirmed by the network and now I'm starting to generate passive income with my Cardinal balance. It's pretty cool. So I hope you liked the video and don't hesitate to leave comments or questions in the description below. If not, 
Have a good weekend and take care. Bye.